There is a lot of useless advice out there that just doesn't work. However, this does. Get ahead of your opposition. It really does work, so give it a try by checking out the link in the description below. The question, do I have to submit a cover letter, answer by Joel Winter. If the company requests a cover letter, it is advisable. Otherwise, no. You've been part of many recruiter panels, and your question is one that comes up frequently from job seekers. In nearly every case, the recruiters on the panel say that they don't read cover letters they go straight to your resume. If you really want to submit a cover letter, I do think there can be some value to them. I have three suggestions. A customize each cover letter to the job and company. Keep it brief and bulleted. Don't save it as a separate document. Make it page one of your resume. That way recruiters can't ignore it by going straight to your resume. Answer by Diane Mendez. So if you're going to submit one, first, Make sure each letter is tailored to the job you're applying for and references the position. Second, make sure each cover letter you write includes these three elements. Try this free cover letter video for the serious job seeker. This is a letter with a two-sentence intro followed by two columns, one on the left-headed, your requirements and one on the right-headed, my qualifications. Bye-bye big, boring blocks of text. You have a short and sweet, self-analyzed litmus test that they will read, Gurney says. It is pointed and has them, at minimum, think that this person has at least looked to see a congruent fit. As we said, HR staff and hiring managers have limited time and a lot of resumes to sort through. Don't put them to sleep. Create something they'll remember you by. It just might be the difference between your application ending up in the trash or the inbox of the boss. Answer by AJ Davis. It is in your best interest to submit a cover letter, even when it is not requested. It shows you took extra effort and care about the opportunity. It doesn't need to be long, but it should be tailored to the position and company. Check out these tips. How to write a winning cover letter. Top 5 cover letter mistakes. 